Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com. Here today because I thought it would be really fun to start doing unboxing videos with you. I don't have any packages to open currently, so we're going to start with unboxing some of my personal treasures that I use for magic. We're going to start with this cigar box, which holds some of the ingredients that I hold near and dear. So in this cigar box, of my personal magical treasures. There are ingredients that may be hard to come by. There are ingredients that only come in small quantities. These are kind of treasured ingredients for me that I don't necessarily use all the time, but I use for special occasions and special cases. Sometimes when I acquire these ingredients, I don't even know exactly what I'm gonna use it for, but when the situation arises, I know exactly what box to go to and where to find what I need. So let's open up this box and see what's in here and talk about some of these ingredients and their uses. The first thing that I'm going to show you are some chaste berries. This comes from the Vitex plant. Chaste berries are excellent for influencing others mentally and emotionally. For example, I use chaste berries in my conquer jars. Conquer jars are used for gaining favor, influence, and assistance and cooperation from other people. A situation that might call for a conquer jar, let's say that you are put on a team of people for a very important work project and your team is dysfunctional. They're not communicating, they're not being positive, they're not listening to you. You have a dire need to get this project done. It's going to reflect poorly upon you if you do not get this project done and you just need everyone to cooperate and work together and to hear your ideas. That would be an excellent situation for the Conquer jar, which is a whiskey based jar using a John the Conqueror root. And a good ingredient to add to such a jar is chasteberry, excellent for gaining favor and influence and really being able to effectively um, influence other people with your ideas. The next thing here is some Gall and Gall or Chewing John. So Chewing John is excellent for court cases, but it's also really good for good luck in a material sense. So I have a lot of success using Chewing John for situations of good luck involving money, finance, and business. This is an ingredient that I love to use um, for big goals that evolve, involve um, evolving materially. So let's say that you want to buy a house, um, let's say that you need to get a business loan, um, you're saving for something really big, or you're trying to transform your overall financial health. I love to use Chewing John for those situations. It's also incredibly powerful for court case magic, and it's definitely a prime ingredient for my court case powder that I make to use in conjunction with my spell candles. Ooh, we've got some Damiana. I just have a little bit of Damiana currently. So running low, I this is one that I'm going to be stacking up on in larger quantities. Excellent for passion. Excellent for love magic involving sexuality and passion. Need to add some fire, need to add a spark. That is Damiana. This is excellent for rekindling that kind of spark and passion in relationships. It's excellent for firing up or heating up a new relationship. Really beautiful in love magic when fiery, passionate sparks are needed or wanted. Ooh, we've got some wormwood. I forgot that I had this. A little packet of wormwood in here. Wormwood is great for psychic abilities, for enhancing your psychic connection. And one of the ways that I like to use wormwood is by burning it on charcoal, just using it as a loose ingredient. Um, it is recommended that you don't breathe in too much of the fumes directly. It will affect you neurologically, so please be careful. Open a window if you're going to do that. But wormwood is 
excellent for your psychic connection and for assisting you with your psychic development. So you could use this during meditation. You could use this in a spell to enhance your psychic development. You could use it during divination. Excellent ingredient to have around. Um, this is lemongrass. So I've got some lemongrass in here. And I love to use lemongrass for purification, but it also to me is linked with love because lemon is linked with love. And even though this isn't technically lemon, it does have a lemony aroma. And so I like to use it for purification related to the heart, such as releasing heart blockages, illuminating emotions, um, allowing people to be more in tune with their loving vibrations, assisting them with the courage needed to act in alignment with their love, right? So purification of the heart. Uh, in that way, it can also be used to assist with healing from past pain related to love, healing broken hearts, and so forth. Excellent, beautiful ingredient for purification and cleansing. Um, oh, I've got some valerian root in here. Valerian root, very much like chasteberry, can be used to influence others, and it can be used to influence others in love work. So this is excellent for a situation where, let's say somebody is in love with you, but they're being held back by fear. They're being held back by a lack of self-confidence. And they've expressed this to you, let's say, and you want to influence them to have the courage and security to move forward. So valerian root is really powerful for in influencing people in love-related situations. And cats love it. It's super stinky, so if you're going to keep it around, be prepared for people to say that your room smells funny and keep it up and away from cats because they will get into it and they will eat it. Cats go insane for valerian root. It isn't poisonous to them as long as they don't eat it in large quantities, but you probably don't want your cats to eat your valerian root if you're going to use it for magic. Uh, this is also where I keep my charcoal. So this is the charcoal used for burning loose incense or loose herbs as incense, like I was talking about with the wormwood, for example. And it's also the place where I keep my little box of wicks. And these are used for, um, these are used for lamps, for making traditional oil lamps. So this is the, um, the device that floats the wick on top of the oil lamp. And then usually there would be some wicks in here too, but I'm out, I need to get some more of these. So I've used up all of my wicks. I also use these extra wicks in situations where I'm performing a spell and the energy seems to be stubborn or kind of stagnant and I need to give it a burst. Let's say that there's a candle that keeps refusing to burn all the way and I know that there are blockages or energetic stagnancies associated with the situation and so through my manipulation of those candles, I'm also manipulating the overall situation. So in that case, I may add an extra wick to burn away some of that wax that symbolizes and is connected to the energetic or spiritual blockages present. So these extra wicks are really useful and really helpful. And then this is kind of like my special bag. So in here I've got um, several other ingredients that I keep together in this extra bag. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, this is Solomon seal root. Solomon seal root. It's hard to see. Um, this is excellent for personal success, like success in studies and success in things related to money, business, and finance. Success in employment and those kind of material world um, situations that are related to practical life, right? Think pentacles sort of energy, um, but specifically like gaining a, um, gaining a raise, gaining a promotion, um, getting good grades, achieving your um, studies successfully, graduating successfully, things of this nature. 
And then we've got some African wishing beans. These are a kind of fava bean. And these are traditionally used in specific numbers, such as seven and 13. And these are excellent for overall good luck, but in my opinion and in my experience, specifically for good luck in those material world situations, like I was saying with the Solomon's Roots, um, promotions, raises, money, finance, business, investments, things of that nature, they're often used in mojo bags for good luck and success in those types of areas. Um, so yeah, these are a really great ingredient to have around. I recently used them in a spell box. The spell box was to assist my client with successfully traversing her studies, with graduating with good grades, and then gaining the employment that she wants to gain. So overall success in her life goals. Ah, I've got a little bit of master root left in here. I also work with whole master roots. And when I work with these whole master roots, like this is actually something that is magically or spiritually linked to me. So I hold this when I pray and it assists me with directing my energy and it assists me with mastering my magic, mastering my spiritual evolution, mastering my spiritual connection, things of that nature. This is actually a spiritual tool that assists me and works with me through those things to kind of help with the overall um, situation of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a spirit in and of itself that has a relationship with me and that assists me with my development and my success, especially related to magic and spiritual undertakings. And then this um, master root, this loose master root, I use in spell work and master root is linked to motherhoods. It's linked to women. So it can be used for protection of a woman, protection of a pregnancy, protection of children, but it's also used for mastering any endeavor. And it's also used for healing, like physical healing, really powerful, really potent and special ingredient, especially for women. I've got some Mexican anil. Mexican anil is excellent to make purification water, so to make blue water, which is most often used for spiritual purification and sometimes added to spiritual baths, but can also be used to make home cleansings like floor washes or even to wipe down your countertops. And also blue water has traditionally been used by spiritualists as well as those in the folk community for divination, so for water scrying. Really um, beautiful ingredient. I've got some copal. I've got some white copal, some really big pieces of white copal. I wish you could see this a little bit more clearly. It's actually um, yellowish and it's really pretty. And I like to burn this, but I do also ground it up and use it in my love powders in connection with love magic. Kapal is excellent because it can be used for spiritual purification and cleansing, but it's also related to love, so it can be used in your love magic. And it's also related to assisting you with your spiritual connection as well as enhancing your psychic abilities. So it can be used for divination, it can be used during ritual or magic to assist you with that spiritual and energetic connection, it can be used in your love magic in all kinds of different ways, and it can be used to cleanse you. So this is a really excellent ingredient to have around because it's so powerful, it's so beautiful, it has such an aromatic smell, and it also relates to so many different areas of life. And my last thing is a High John Root, a John the Conqueror Root. And this is a famous ingredient. Of course, I'm sure that many of you have heard of this already. Really excellent for success, for conquering your endeavors. Very much like Master Root, it can be used to conquer all kinds of situations and endeavors. It has more of a masculine energy, whereas the Master Root has more of a feminine energy, but they both can be used by anybody. And the Hyjan Root is used, it's a famous ingredient for mojo 
tote bags and for charms associated with personal magnetism, um, lucky hands, so luck with money, gambling, finance, business, um, luck in jobs, um, very much related to that outward world personal success for your achievement and your magnetism and your interactions with other people as well as your material world success. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you got some good ideas about how to use some of these ingredients. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment and share. Many, many blessings.